dummy. Welcome to Cabo San Lucas. It is incredibly beautiful here. The weather is fantastic. It's a spectacular 75 degrees. It's a little breezy, sunny, part, partly cloudy, but overall, great weather. Great time to be in Cabo San Lucas. It is New Year's. It is. It's, it's the year. first day of 2024, and I couldn't think of a better way than to kick off 2024 than being in a port in Mexico with great weather. Well, according to John, spectacular weather. Spectacular weather. Um, just a little bit about Cabo San Lucas. They actually have whales that you can see here. They have sea lions. They have camels. Camels today, John? Do they? Do they have camels? Do they have camels? Camels? sea lions, whales, oh my goodness. But anyways, it's gonna be a great day. Um, I'm excited, we grabbed some breakfast this morning in one of the dining rooms, and now we're just waiting for our excursion that you're gonna have to check out because it's, it's gonna be interesting. It may involve one of those three, and I'm not talking about whales. So we'll see what happens. It's gonna be a good day. That's right, so follow along. bit of information the ship does not actually dock at a port you have to take a tender pool uh, because the port's a little too small so make sure you plan accordingly the night before get all your uh, backpacks all your equipment ready to go um, because you do have to get in line to board the tender and actually the day before you get tickets so that you're able to get on the shuttle and be able to actually go to go to Cabo and see the city right it's true so make sure you're planning ahead and make sure you know what the weather is going to be like that way you can plan for your suitcase and all those things and what you're going to be uh wearing um because when we left california it was cold and we're here and now it's warm and it's it's sunny very sunny but i'm ready i'm ready a little bit of trivia general knowledge before we go on our excursion my guess is we're still trying to win that ship on a stick. It hasn't happened yet. Y'all, this is the longest run I think anybody's ever had of not getting a ship on a stick, trying to get a ship on a stick. This is the president of Carnival. Which of Disney's seven dwarfs come first? Obviously, Did you win? We didn't win. But guys, high score. We did eight. We got eight. This is the most we've ever gotten. The most we've ever gotten? Why do you make it harder? No. Wait, how many? Cabo! Let's go! Very sunny Cabo. here in Cabo. Very Great sunny. Water. It's hot. Quick tip for you guys pack some dollars because if you want to go to the restroom, it's going to cost you one dollar. Per use. One dollar. Just hey, bring some dollars. But it was a flush toilet and it came with toilet paper. So you didn't have to bring your own this time. What time and we made it? And it was a long ride. They weren't joking when they said it was gonna be four to five minutes. <laughs> We're getting ready to ride a uh, three stomach pumped beast. I right? guess you could call it that. You'll find out what it is. Ask you, ladies and gents, have you ever ride a camel before? No. No? Because no? here, we're gonna go on the beach. Don't <laughs> <laughs> go tens on the camel. We don't need tension. We are on vacations. Yes, it's important that we relax. Okay? Or do some flexions because we need it. Okay? That's why 20 minutes are gonna be just fine. I feel like a dummy.
it was um you know very moving around it was a good time was it humpy? oh my god all right so we learned a lot about camels john did you learn anything we learned that pump does not store water oh it stores fat that's true like your stomach stores fat now we're doing a nature walk learning all about the cactus and things that are here but that's what's going on not too much just relaxing We're getting ready to have lunch. Um, it's supposed to be like chicken, so see what it is. Apparently there's gonna be tortillas. Um, they have drinks, so you can get some drinks, water. They had different types of uh, fruit flavored water, right? Yep. Um, Biscuits, uh, some, some sweet tea, yeah. water, some beer. But as you can see behind us, this is what we just got done doing. Uh, was riding the camels, and I, you know, the ride was okay. I, the bread was good, and then I don't after. Know. I would say it was quite humpy. <sighs> <laughs> killing me with this all the time um, but after that we got to learn a little bit about camels and just fun facts there was a nature walk there was a nature walk Very so we learned about a bunch of cactus um, and now we're here and we're gonna enjoy some food I'm hungry I know John's probably hungry Starved. and then after this we leave and we go back to the ship yeah, so this, this place is amazing it's gorgeous the weather is it's a uh, there's a breeze blowing from the uh, ocean there very rough seas you definitely cannot swim in this water oh the cool thing is some of the people that rode the camels if you go during this time because it's whale season you'll get to see some whales well, that's too right. we did see some so, whales off in the distance yeah but overall so far i like the excursion do you like the excursion i like it I yeah like it. i would have never thought eight out to of ten ride, eight out of ten okay eight out of ten i would have never thought to ride camels this was john's thing i i told him this morning i said man if we did like a a cruise out of australia and he would have been like we're gonna ride some kangaroos today i'd been like all right i guess that's what we're doing so that's all i knew we were riding camels today we were pleasantly surprised All right, y'all, so we're wrapping up. We're getting ready to head back. Food was great. It was very, very delicious food. Excursion. And they give you a lot of food. So if you're hungry, you're gonna, you're gonna get to eat a lot of food. It's true. The excursion, I will give it, I will say, John, probably a solid seven and a half out of 10. I still give it an eight out of 10. Okay. It was a good excursion. But we've enjoyed it. Um, our tour guide was Bill. So forget Bill, we've got a good person. Yep. He's great. But, we're headed back. We'll see you guys soon. And there was a tequila tasting. We didn't film any of it, but if you are into tequila, you'll get a lot of tequila. If not, they have a great coffee here. It was delicious. Been in Cabo all day. All day. I mean, sun up, sun is down. But it's nice. And John, we've never been in Cabo this late, have we? We haven't. It's nice. I enjoy it. It's quiet. It's serene. You can hear the fishes eat the food. Just kidding. You can't. But it's still really nice. We're back on board. We took a shower. We did not take a nap. We just showered up, got ready. And where are we at now? We're at Bonsai Sushi tonight, so I'm really excited because this menu is what I've been wanting all cruise. So John and I decided we were already late for dinner. We needed to take a shower, so we did that and we're like, you know what, let's go and treat ourselves. So we came to Bonsai. So you have to follow along and see what we eat. Miso soup. It's very good. A lot of food. It's a lot of food. I got a bento box, so instead of doing the tuna, salmon, shrimp, I went shrimp, 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 ginger salad, and then a California roll with it. I'm gonna eat. So we just finished up at Bonsai Sushi. Very, very good. Um, it Service took a little bit longer, right, John? Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't. 30, what, 40 minutes, maybe. We were in and out, the day was packed. 
everybody seems to be running a little bit late but anyways so now we're gonna walk around the ship there's a variety show tonight um, I think there's like the duo playing the band is off tonight so tonight's the night off so we got to find something else to do but I heard there's a silent disco so we're gonna have to check that one out but Catch us on the flip side, y'all. We're about to experience our first silent disco. Silent disco! I guess that means we gotta be quiet, right? Yeah, pretty much. Or dance quietly? Pretty much. You put some headphones on and you tune into some music and yeah, that's about it. But All right, let's go get our disco. Let's go. What's going on here? It's kind of weird. Sorry, it's real loud. It's actually kind of cool. So we just wrapped up at Silent Disco. It was pretty good. What did you say, John? It was interesting. There was the only issue I had. Well, not issue, but there, there was a lot of teenagers there. You know, jumping around, having teenagers. a good time. They were little kids that were running around. Where are your parents? But. In all reality, we had a good time. Silent Disco is something you want to go and check out on a cruise ship. Even if you don't dance, John and I are not major dan dancers. We just enjoy the music. Um, but it was cool to see the different interactions between the two different uh, DJs and just kind of how they interacted with the crowd. Um, there were three channels for us to listen to. One were oldies, one was like primarily rap and hip hop music, and then the other one was like just your crowd favorites. The Cha Cha Slide, they did. Um, other weird dances there was a train going at one point i have no idea but it was a good time i highly recommend it check it out just so you know if you check out the headphones and you don't bring them back or they're damaged they will charge you 300 dollars per headphone so make sure you check those back in correctly but it was a good time <laughs> what's going on here <laughs> so we are about to see a variety show not sure we actually don't know what's going on no idea um, something about a motown tribute so that's what the description said anyway but we'll let you know we'll let you know and they actually flew in this person uh to do this the show so it should be good thank you carnival also he has performed with some amazing names in rb and soul music so without further ado i need you to make some noise go wild and go crazy and let's hear it for mr ron mitchell <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. I am Ron Mitchell. And Uh, Ron Mitchell, he sings Motown. Interesting man. Not my favorite thing on a carnival. <laughs> um, we lasted. Uh, we gave it a fair shot. Okay, let me just say, we gave it a fair shot, right, John? Yeah, sure. You you don't know until you go. It's just we, not our thing. That, we that, didn't that's know what was gonna happen. Um, it was just a man standing on on the stage singing and introducing various artists through Motown which I feel like you can do on Google and listen to the original and it'd probably be a little bit better. I'm sorry, Ron Mitchell. You probably were, were a really great guy. It just wasn't our cup of tea. Um, but we're gonna go check out the rest of the night, see what it brings us. Like I said, you really don't know till you go on a cruise ship. Find things that you don't know what to expect. You have to go and try them. Don't knock them before you try them. That's right. Because at the very least, it may end up being something amazing. Silent Disco? Amazing. It was pretty good. For the kids. For the kids. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Variety it was, show? It was good. The it kids were enjoying it a whole lot more, but it was good. It was fun. All right. 
Let's see where tonight brings us. It's got, we gotta uplift from here, John. We gotta uplift from here. All right, y'all. So it's been a great night. I mean, Cobbles and Lucas, amazing. The camels, even greater. Um, I will say it was a 20-minute ride on the camels, but it was long enough. Um, long I enjoyed. Enough, yes. I enjoyed it. It was a full day in Cobbles and Lucas. Great dinner at Bonsai <laughs> Sushi, and then just kind of walking around, seeing what the ship has for us. I, I don't know about you, John, but I think Carnival Panorama is just a great ship. Yes, we've been on the ship a couple times before, and. It did not disappoint. It was definitely a good time. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and you want to stay tuned because we have a whole lot more things planned for the next videos to come. There's a new port. There's some dancing possibly involved. I mean, it's just something you gotta watch. So, as always, who are you? My name is John. And my name is Diamond. Go on a cruise. And have a good time. We'll see you guys soon.